Hey guys, welcome to this absolute value inequality problem. Andy math. So we're gonna solve this. First, let's look at the notes. These are the notes for the absolute value inequality problems. If the absolute value is on the left side, it's less than some number, then you do this to it. And then we'll ignore this because that's not what's happening right now. So we're gonna say the negative the b, so it's gonna be negative 10, is less than or equal to, and it's gonna be five minus two x. Notice how I did not put the absolute value here. That's because by doing this step, we're getting rid of the absolute value. Next, we wanna isolate the x in the middle. We wanna get the x by itself. We're gonna subtract five from all three of them. Whatever you do in the middle, you have to do to the other two as well. Negative 15, negative two x, and five. Now we divide by negative two. Negative 15 divided by negative two is positive, say 7.5. Negative two and negative two cancel, so we're left with just x, and five over negative two is negative 2.5. Then since we divided by a negative number, we need to change the direction of the signs. Usually you write the small number on the left, so we'll rewrite it real quick. Negative 2.5 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 7.5. And that's the answer to the question. If you had to graph it, you would show zero, negative 2.5, this isn't really to scale. Then you would have, this is saying every value in between negative 2.5 and 7.5. And then since it's or equal to, we wanna shade these in. We're gonna include these values. Another way you'll sometimes see it graphed is with hard brackets stuck on there like that. There's one other thing we could do. We could write this in set notation, which would be negative 2.5 comma 7.5. So all these are valid answers depending on what the teacher is asking for. So if this makes sense, please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.